Let me tell you about Bear Vitamin Skin River Upper. This is a product that actually smooths out the surface of your skin. You apply it before you put on Bare Minerals Foundation as a prep. This is not a moisturizer. This is a, a product that actually works with the skin by adding vitamins and botanicals. And there's also salicylic acid and glycolic acid included. That way, it can actually clean out the pores of the skin, making for a smoother surface. Bear Vitamins is so good, you don't even feel it when it's on. It absorbs so quickly. So you will find that your application of Bare Minerals is smooth and easy. Now we're going to get started. I'm going to help you achieve a really healthy radiant complexion. We're going to start with the face. First, let me tell you what products you need to achieve that. You're going to have two Bare Minerals foundations, one all-over face color warmth, mineral veil, three brushes, the flawless application brush, the Handy Buki, and the Maximum Coverage Concealer Brush. Now we're ready to help you achieve that healthy complexion. I'm going to start with Bare Minerals Foundation. Are you ready, Janet? Yes. Okay. Here we go. This is all you need of the Bare Minerals Foundation in the lid. Don't use too much here. Less is more. You're going to take your Flawless Application Brush. This is a great brush because it's tapered perfectly to deliver the Bare Minerals Foundation. Let me show you how it works. You swirl it in the lid. You tap off all the excess. You should not have any Bare Minerals foundation on the outside of the brush. That's really important. Now we're going to go over to the skin and start buffing. Okay. The buffing action actually feels really good when you're applying it. You're not pulling it tugging on the skin. And this brush will give you a light to medium coverage. You never have to worry about that line of demarcation because it blends so beautifully. And if you have dry skin, don't worry, it just looks like a powder. It's actually very creamy to the touch, so it's perfect if you have oily skin or dry skin, and it will always give you the look of bare skin. It will never look masky. I'm going to do it again, a little bit in the lid. Okay, watch. We're going to swirl, tap off all the excess. Now we're going to go back and buff. I like to go around the outside of the face first and then go inside. So now we have a light to medium coverage. And I'm going to show you how to use the Handy Buki brush if you want more of a full coverage. Let me explain what a Handy Buki brush is. We actually have a family of brushes that are kabuki. And what that means is that the bristles are really tight and firm, so it delivers even more coverage to the skin. So you're going to get medium to full coverage. Again, a little bit in the lid. And eventually when you get the hang of it, you can just go straight to the Handy Buki if you want, or the Flawless Application. Tap off the excess. You see there's nothing left in the lid here. I'm going to go back to the skin. Janet likes a little bit more coverage, so this one's great. In fact, I love this brush. This is my favorite. So I'm just going to keep applying. I'm going to go back, and you can see already that we're achieving some great coverage on your skin. A little bit in the lid. Swirl. Tap. And buff. Okay. Everywhere. Just keep buffing. You can even go over the eyelids if you want. Just keep it really even. Okay, now we're ready for the Maximum Coverage Concealer Brush. And you're probably wondering, why do we have this brush in here? Because believe it or not, the foundation actually works as a concealer too. So, again, you're going to put a little bit in the lid. Now this brush is great because it's really tight and flat, so it really helps you get the details covered. If you have little spots, broken capillaries, any, you know, age spots around the face, Great brush. I can't live without this one either. So you swirl it in the lid, tap off the excess, and really firm, packed inside so that when you go to those spots you want covered, you just pat it on, and instantly you'll see these shadows and blemishes and brown spots go right away and blend it out. You'll be amazed how great this brush is. Okay. Swirl, tap, and then here's another one you might want to cover. Great for under the eye area. Now you're saying Bare Minerals looks like a powder, but you know what? It's not a powder. This is actually very creamy Bare Minerals, so it's different. It's very the whole the whole experience is different. Close your eye. This will help even out the the skin tone around the eye area. Inside the eye, we have a lot of darkness. You might not even realize that, but we we all do. You go down around the eye area. Some dark spots on the other side. Okay. I'm going to keep going. This part I like because you have the tip of the brush, which is kind of pointed. It's very easy. A lot of us have dark darkness right under the eyelashes. So you can just point that in there. Very gentle. So it's very creamy when you apply it. 
There's nothing drying about this. If you have dry skin, you will love Bare Minerals. It gives you a creamy, natural luminosity. Okay, now that you've achieved the coverage you desire with Bare Minerals Foundation, we're going to take your complexion one step further. Here's Warmth, another very special product. Now, when you use Warmth, I want you to be very careful that you only use a teeny little bit in the lid. Can you see that? That's all you need. You're going to take your flawless application brush and you're going to swirl it in the lid. Remember this brush is great because it's tapered perfectly for Bare Minerals. You're going to tap off the excess. There are no uh, Bare Minerals warmth in the lid. And if you look at the brush, you can't see it at all. Now you're ready to start buffing it in. You're going to go over the nose and the cheek very lightly on the forehead, on the chin. And remember, this is a product that will give your skin a healthy radiance, like you just came back from a walk, or you've been taking your vitamins, or anything like that. It just gives you that healthy glow. That's all you need to do. If you want a little bit more warmth, do it again, but remember, a teeny little amount in the lid. Now your next and final step is Mineral Veil. Mineral Veil is very different than any of the Bare Minerals products, because this is very sheer. You don't even see it on. And although it looks like a a powder that's very light, even the darker skins can use this product. Okay, little tiny bit in the lid, but this one you can put on as, as many layers as you want all day long. Take your flawless application brush again, you're going to swirl it, tap off the excess, so sheer. I'm going to start in the T-zone because some of you might have that oily shine that's natural, and some of us also have large pores in the cheek area. This will help refine the pores. It's that finishing touch, very soft and beautiful. It's almost like that perfect lighting following you around. It actually morphs into the skin like special effects. You just put it on, and then your complexion is finished. Very healthy, very radiant. It's almost flawless, right? And that's it.